Hello my lovelies and welcome to another video. Not very often I start one of my videos wearing black. I think it's a um, color of the clothing that I really really love but it's something that I usually wear for I don't know like my outings and not very often for like sit down videos just because I have dark hair. That being said I am starting this video in a little bit more of elegant clothing because I'm going to be talking about my favorite evenings wear. I wanted to show you some of my special occasion dresses, outfits, how I put them together, what I wear them with and I would say that those are my kind of like best of the best looks which I decided to bring with me in Paris or I acquired since I arrived here because I haven't really shown you many of them. Since I arrived I got quite a few new pieces from Samran and the Balma so I thought maybe let's try and put it all in one video to show it to you. Now this top is one of my absolute favorite special occasion tops that you have actually seen before um, in one of the vlogs and it's for sure like an evening uh, wear type of outfit that I could not not mention in this video. I'm gonna do this sort of a, my dress collection uh, type of a video except that it's gonna be all the evening looks. I will link everything below. We will put numbers on each of the looks so that you can easily find them below as we did for the dress collection video and I'm super curious to hear which one is your favorite because that's always something very interesting to see because different people always have different tastes. Just to give a little disclaimer, this will not be just about dresses, so there will be some trousers as well because after all it's just about evenings outfits, so let's start. Okay, so here we go. These trousers I got back at the beginning of spring, if I'm right. I really, really love them because I think they're very comfortable, very kind of like evening-ish and beautiful. When I saw the advertorial campaign, which I will insert a picture of here, I knew I had to have them. And I will show you another look with them because I think they're a must-have piece. I believe they're on sale now, so make sure to check the link below. I also decided to style them with this top, which for me is a piece of art, a piece of like uh, most incredible structural art. Hope you can see the top very well because light's coming from here. And I style this look with the Saint Laurent um, shoes. These shoes are just spectacular, but besides that, here you can see why the trousers are so special as well. They are sort of uh, slingy trousers, so um, that is something that makes them very special, which by the way, I think it's a massive trend for the season. Obviously, you can find these kind of trousers everywhere, but what's very important about them is that I like styling them, uh, placing the elastic below my shoe, where it sits just behind the heel here, rather than putting it behind the heel. I think this especially elongates the leg and makes them look a lot more flattering. Same trousers, different look. This is now a total summer look. I love this belt, by the way. I was trying to find it uh, everywhere. And I believe it's also right now on sale because I got it back back at the beginning of the year. Love this look because this I think could be also a perfect look for a first date because nothing's really revealed. As you can see, the top is kind of silky. It is a little bit see-through, but you can't really see anything. I have shown it before. I love the shoulder pads, which I think are very structured, really powerful, yet very feminine because of the silk little uh, bow around the neck, high collar, super feminine, super beautiful. And then again, uh, the trousers are quite tight, so they are sexy, but nothing is vulgar, nothing is showing too much. There's not any particular detailing. Now, I haven't closed the cuffs here just because it's a little bit too labor intense, the tiny little buttons, but I believe this look for me is a go-to day to look. Next up, we have a total black dress, but when I come closer, you will see the detailing is very... Um, spectacular on this dress. I decided to style them with the silver Sunrun sandals because I believe that we are still in the sandal season. However, this would very soon change into like maybe a knee boot or even an ankle boot depending how old it is. What I really love about this dress is the way it was made. Now if you look closely, it's kind of got this uh, rubber piping and then sequins as well which 
are adding super shape to the body. What I love when it comes to Balmain is that Olivia Rostang, who's the creative director, he makes the dresses that really make women look amazing in them. Like this dress in particular accentuates the waist, the hips, like makes it kind of like tucks you in where it should tuck you in and accentuates what it should. I love this dress, I think it's brilliant and it will be in my wardrobe forever. It's one of those like classic pieces, really out there. I think it's not boring black dress. It's amazing and I feel really like empowered wearing it. Okay, this dress is also a piece of art. I, I think also, as you will notice, first of all, I love taffeta in dresses. And second of all, I love the dresses that don't show anything in particular. Like there's no slit going up here. There's no massive cleavage. I like when there's a bit of shoulder pads, accentuated waist and I like this kind of cut in dresses in particular. I think Magda Butchum does that and Alessandra Rich as well. So this kind of dress would be my go-to dress as well when it comes for a date or an event. Love the little purple flowers. There are tiny little crystals on the body of the dress and then it's all taffeta origami at the bottom. I styled it with my new Jimmy Choo sandals. You have seen these previously in one of the vlogs. I think these are beyond special. Really, really love them. Starting with the same shoes, but as we proceed, I have changed the dress now. Here we went from the dark colors to something a little bit lighter, and this is probably the most insane Balmain dress. When I saw this one, I thought, wow, this one really like grabs you everywhere. It's like a jersey dress, which is also signature for the brand. It has very long sleeves, also signature for the brand, but you know, you can kind of wear them a little bit long like this, or you can put your thumb through, which I don't really tend to do, especially when it's white, but I do like to wear it a little bit longer with a big cocktail ring. I think that's always quite cool. The detailing here in the front is what again makes that kind of like an hourglass. This is giving it like a like a cinched in figure. Okay, one of my most spectacular finds since I arrived in Paris would be this total look. I got the Saint Laurent dress with beautiful little, um, I would say, I'm not call them crystals, but like little micro micro studs. And as I come closer, you will see this dress is very short. But I think it's quite flattering. This is my perfect kind of kind of disco night look. I love it because it's again like tucked in here. There is a lot of a cleavage, so this is a very sexy dress. And I would not wear this on a first date. I would wear this for a girl who's going out or something kind of like very very extravagant, spectacular, maybe even. Um, like a birthday party that is quite themed and I decided to style the dress with my Bianca sandals I got these also since I arrived in Paris you guys saw them many of you commented that you love them because they're so comfortable with a massive platform and chunky heel I remember when these heels were very very trendy but now I think platform is really coming back so I love them so much that I even contemplating on getting them in sort of like a, a tan color and I also think they would work so well with palazzo pants or some kind of flares because it's that old vibe. Okay, someone is gonna say now, girl you wear this dress way too much, right? I hope not because I really love re-wearing and reusing my pieces over and over and over again in this dress. I have worn many times. But I love it. I think it's insane. It's by philosophy. This dress is a taffeta dress, so just like the skirt of the Magda Butchum dress, like the skirting of it. And honestly, I love it. I always style it with a Bottega belt. I could also, for example, style it with the other Bottega belt, but I love it like this. Or I could even put my Valentino one, uh, but this is just something that I like. I think this adds extra coolness and I love the shape this dress. Another piece of art, the dress that I actually already worn many times. I never managed to photograph it, so I might actually take a picture right here, right now. 
um, as soon as we finish this clip. I love this dress. It's so beautifully made. It's fully embellished and even though I have worn it many times, it has not got one crystal missing. Not one piece is missing, not one stud, which I mean, I think is quality like at its best. Again, what I've said before about Olivia Rossang making dresses that make women feel amazing. I think they're worth every penny. I think they just look spectacular on the shoulders. Are There's a little bit of shoulder pads. There's, um, again, the sleeves, which are full length. And I think this dress is just spectacular. One more thing about his dresses is that anybody can wear them. It's not just made for like stick thin girls, which I think is very actually rare to find today in the high fashion. Most of the high fashion designers, they make clothes for like two meter tall girl, which is like a model figure. I believe that Bama looks amazing, especially on the curvier girls because everything sits perfectly in the place. Of course, that's why Kim Kardashian is such a fan because um, it just looks insane on her. One of the top three dresses, that I've ever owned and definitely that I have right now in my wardrobe is this Saint Laurent number. I love this dress. I mean, look at the way it was made, the way it was cut. I think it's spectacular. It's There's a corset inside of this dress, which is what makes this part like super flattering. I think this is so spectacular. I would love to also style it with a blazer over the shoulders. Actually, it's exactly what I'm gonna do now. I just took a velvet black blazer, which is also by Saint Laurent and another amazing find. I love the shoulders and I think it's quite cool. Even if you wear this dress with something oversized on top, I think it would look amazing, like an oversized blazer or um, jacket. I also believe this dress was the campaign dress. I think I said that in my a dress collection video. I love it so much. I shot it for Instagram and what it seems is that you guys love it too. And for the end, I love something special for you. I would call this a chess print jersey dress. I was just thinking it's not really that extravagant for like a special gala evening, but I think it is like a dinner cocktail type of dress. Like this is the type of dress that I would wear to events if there were any events. But again, I think this is a dress you don't have to worry about because you don't have to worry about overeating because everything is kind of like tucked in. You don't have to worry about your cleavage when you sit down because even though there is some cleavage, it's not vulgar, it's not too much, it's not like uh, crying for attention or anything like that. There are of course some shoulder pads. I really like it. I think it's short, but long sleeves always make up for that. And if you ask me personally, shoulder pads always make each dress, in my personal opinion, much more beautiful. I think that's, and I don't even think that's a matter of trend. I think that's a matter of making your body in a shape that I absolutely love. It's more flattering. And this is the kind of dress that I think anybody could pull off and anybody would look amazing in. And I love this print because there's some prints, so it's not like a just a boring dress, but again, it's not like, and now that we're done, I'm super curious to hear which look was your favorite. Make sure to leave a comment below. Let me know if there was something that you didn't particularly like, because I also like to uh, get that feedback as well. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you soon. Bye, guys.